Welcome to Hispanic Voices. My name is Gilbert Hernandez, and my co-host today is uh, Maria Rivera, and we have a, a special part one program today. We're going to start your Christmas real early, early, earlier than you think, in late November. Well, not really early because everybody's already uh, shopping for Christmas. Correct. Yeah. But we're going to have some. We're going to talk a little bit about the atmosphere in, in uh, Navidades in Puerto Rico in Latin America, and I have those two uh, uh, individuals that are musicians, pajanderos, which we'll talk about that, are very, very stood on the, on the atmosphere in Puerto Rico and how the uh, uh, pajandas are held in Puerto Rico and, and, and what they mean in the culture of Puerto Rico. Uh, tenemos a Jose Antonio Rodriguez y a Vitin Lopez. And Vitin and I have gone back like 40 years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 20 years ago. 40 years. Yeah. Okay, we'll, like start with, we'll start with Jose. Jose, tell us a little bit about um, your journey your journey to Buffalo and, and, and uh, your uh, involvement in Pajandas. Well, even though I came in uh, early age to Buffalo, New York, uh, I still remember my parents, my, especially my father. He yeah. will play the cuatro, a typical instrument of Puerto Rico, and uh, he will go out and visit friends and early in the morning or, or late at night and to sing songs, like, right. equivalent to caroling. And uh, they will play songs and all night long. Right. And they go from one house to the other and doing that for many now, years. Now, the Christmas carols in Puerto Rico, they start like when? Like around December 16, they go Cor for Correct. About Basically, they're starting earlier now. They, now they're starting As earlier. As we speak here, they're probably having parrandas <laughs> in Puerto Rico, you know? That's right. Yeah, Puerto Rico. Oh, we very yeah. known as party people. Correct, yeah. Now, we think you're, you're, you're uh, from Puerto Rico, too. Yeah, I came from Puerto Rico back in the, the 70s. In the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The parandas already, they were doing good there, you know. Now they say it's better, I don't know. It's better. It's been yeah. here so many years now. Now in Puerto Rico, they have like 78 municipalities and seven, 78 plazas. Uh, so, so they have like drawing this whole uh, uh, era, this whole uh, phase, uh, Navideña phase in Puerto Rico. Every one of those uh, municipalities get involved in pajandas, and, and some of them even get involved in posadas, and, you know, which, which is a little bit different between the two. Uh, you know the, correct, yeah. The uh, paranda is a more lovely uh, uh, activity, which is, uh, involves uh, having a good time, drinking, dancing, and so forth. Posada is a religious uh, type of uh, parandas, if you want to call that. And there's uh, the celebrating the uh, the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay. And they will knock on door to door, uh, the the mother looking for a place to stay. That's what Posada is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Maria, you had a few questions for me. When you do the um, parranda, what is the most thing that you like when you go and visit and sing? What is the more that you like? Well, to me personally, the most I like is with the, the greeting. When you knock on the door, yeah. uh, the surprise of the people, yeah. the way they look, and the, <laughs> like they were looking forward to hearing some music yeah. uh, so late at night, and, and then coming in and continue playing. And, and yeah, then, but that's including too, like, um, the, they got some coquito. Oh, oh, yeah, oh they, yes. They got the Talking coquito. The drinking. Oh, yeah. they're drinking, the food. You're right. And yeah. then, um, since everybody goes knocking from one house to another, you bring that household and keep on, you know, with the other ones. Correct, yes. And some of them, they do the nice homemade chicken soup. Oh, that's oh, true. Wow. <laughs> so was at the, like at the end of the barranda? Yeah. Like right. 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. everybody's tired. Right. And right. that ch homemade chicken right. soup is, ooh. That was nice. But the, the yeah. thing about yeah. it, you start with two or three persons doing yeah. a barranda. By the time you finish, you could have 50 to 100 people. 100 wow. people. Wow. Yeah. Now, the, now, follow you. Right. now, this is in Puerto Rico, though, right? How, how, how does that, how has that transported, how uh, trans, transformed in, in the city? Because you don't do that. It doesn't happen here anymore. I mean, pajandas are, are there used to be maybe 10, 20, 30 oh, years ago. Of course, ago. yes. Yeah, but not, not like they have them in Puerto Rico. No, it's not, it's not like that anymore, it, but we're still it, trying to do it here, too. Is, is that a lost kind of tradition? It, yeah. it, it, correct, it's, it, it's a lost tradition uh, in, in other parts of, uh, in other cities, uh, perhaps because of the weather and so forth. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You All know, right. because of safety reasons, they have exactly. basically have stopped exactly. uh, doing them. Yeah. But you know, too, the generation right now, some of us um, don't 
raise our kids with the culture. So that's why it's fading little by little. Now us, we Maybe back not. in the day, so we're trying to keep on having that um, culture to, um, you know, keep yeah. on in the Well, future. me as a retired <clears throat> teacher, we used to do celebration with the kids in the in school. Uh, teaching them about tradition. Right. And, exactly. yeah. and exactly. the reason why we do it, uh, in a more positive way That's than right. a negative That's way, right. yes. to maintain the tradition from one generation to the other. And, and, a, and a tradition is a, a kind of a re religious tradition, really, mm -hmm. because uh, pajanas, posadas, and that whole right. uh, Christmas atmosphere and environment in Puerto Rico and even Latin America is really, it's really driven by the Catholic, by the Catholic right. Church. It was mm -hmm. really the Catholic Co Church correct. that came down. Mm -hmm. And, and set up all these all these um, um, activities and events to kind of bring in the native uh, inhabitants and the indigenous right. people from those countries, which had their own way of celebrating. Correct. Not Christmas, mm -hmm. but celebrating their gods and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But those days, we tried to bring the, the family and friends together. That's right. That really is a pajanda, yes. mostly. Right, right. And, and, and a pajanda is really, that's, that's central. Family is yes. central for the pajanda because um, uh, uh, in, in Latin America, Christmas revolves really around the family and we try to do that, to do that here too. And I think um, a lot of time it gets away with us from, with, with, the, with the commercial thing. Now, um, uh, Santa Claus and Three Kings Day. What's celebrated now in Puerto Rico? Both or one or the other? Or? <laughs> they they celebrate <laughs> both. Both are yeah. being right. celebrated, even though January the 6th at Three Kings Day is, yeah. is very strong. Very strong. Very, very strong, big yes, in Puerto yeah. Rico. Yeah. But yeah. now they have the combination of both, right. you know. And I think they love it. As a kid, I love that because yeah. you get gifts in Christmas Day <laughs> and the January 6th, the you get a couple of gifts. Yeah. But you know something, too? What happened is that um, Puerto Rico, well, the Hispanic, um, we celebrate if we if we think about it. We celebrate from uh, December, um, twenty what twenty four or twenty five, all the way until June six. Yeah. We got the January six. Ja sorry, the January six. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Octavita is yeah. if you yeah. give to a parent to a friend or a compadre. Then he had to return the paranda <laughs> back. So oh, they spent wow. a year long doing that. You know, it's not, oh my so, goodness. That's a long long festivities. Well, well, so. well um, we are very known as uh, party people because we always celebrate a lot of stuff, the Hispanic. Right. And that's our, our right. culture. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and music is very, 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 very involved. Good. Very. Uh, that's number uh, one stuff. Then. Yes, very in intrinsic in the culture. Yeah. Um, and, and, and even today in Puerto Rico, uh, on Three Kings Day, I think the governor opens up the, the governor's off, um, mansion uh, to give gifts uh, right. in, in San Juan. There's a particular town called Juanadilla, which is the, Juanadilla, the main yeah, place for the Three Kings Day. Now uh, that's a Posada, in, right? Yeah, living in New York City, they used to bring the Three Kings. They would right, travel right. to the United States right. to, uh, to bring the happiness and tradition right. of the Three Kings uh, to the people. Now the here. Three Kings Day for us is the epiphany. The epiphany, the epiphany right, correct, right, right, and 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 it's and it is celebrated in Buffalo. They celebrate uh, Puerto Rico celebrate very strong too. Yeah, they, they celebrate that that tradition. Correct. Yeah. I want to say something. Um, Christmas. Um, I want to let the viewer knows that us we cook um, um, pasteles, arroz <laughs> con gandules. Uh, what else? Um, lechon asado, asado morcilla, carne yes. frita. Which Maria is going to cook for us for next for the next show. <laughs> the next show we're going to have a nice layout here. Yeah, and the next show, the show, the second so we have part. We more show on this. We're going to have the food, so yeah. you guys can know what is that we eat. Now, now we're going to cut this particular segment show because I want the uh, the audience to really listen to this music because yes. it's really really um, sweet. Um, so. We'll be back with some real good um, uh, aguinaldos. Uh, okay. Nice Christmas, songs. Christmas carols. A las alanderas, a las alanderas, a las alanderas de mi corazón. Allá dentro veo, allá dentro veo, un bulto tapado, no sé si será, un lechón asado, no sé si será. A las alanderas, a las alanderas de mi corazón. A las alanderas, a las alanderas, a las alanderas de mi corazón. Alegre, alegre vengo de las montañas de 
mi cabaña que alegre está y a mis amigos le traigo flores de las mejores de mi rosa y a mis amigos le traigo flores de las mejores de mi rosa Fabulous, fabulous beautiful, stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. It reminds me of when I was a kid, my dad used to, I mean, you could imagine this song going on all night oh, with nice. about 30, 40, 50 people following. Yeah, and, and then and, they and mix it, it and, and they, they keep on, and, and they, they, they and roll around from one song to yep, the other. Yeah, the one. So it's, it's, yeah. It fabulous. I used to enjoy it when I was small, Tom. <clears throat> El Cuatro. You can't have... Uh, Christmas carols in Puerto Rico without a guitar. Without this, <laughs> right. you need this. <laughs> and, the, and the guitar too. But this, tell me yeah. a little bit about a cuatro and how did the, how was that introduced to in Puerto Rico? Well, uh, the cuatro is a ten string instrument, double. There's five double string instruments. It sounds similar oh. to a mandolin. Okay. Oh. Okay, similar. Yes. Uh, it was uh, it was created. Uh, it's, it's a long history of it. Uh, the the. Uh, Campesinos, the country folk, they really wanted to make a guitar. But oh, they, I see. They okay. did not have the knowledge or the measurement of doing oh. a, gui uh, a guitar. And they ended up and with then a, and with a cuatro. With, with, with Are you a kidding cuatro? me? You mean that was, an, uh, that was a mistake? It was a mistake, <laughs> yes. yes. What a nice mistake. <laughs> the, nice. The cuatro, <laughs> cuatro means four. Uh -huh. The, uh, the uh, uh, modern cuatro have five strings. Oh. So, the original quadro had four strings, double, which it was eight. Oh, it's eight. Yeah, oh. so that's the reason why. And then in 1930, 1935, uh, a person called Maestro Ladi uh, right. came and added the uh, extra string on the, yeah. on the oh. So is it called a quadro or un quinto? No, a quadro. Quinto was like back in the, mm. in, in, in the days, am I right? A quinto, they... quinto is for the, the trio music. The trio oh, music. Okay. It's a small it's guitar. A small yeah. guitar. Okay. Okay. yeah, your father used to play yeah, that. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, right. I remember, yes. Yeah, 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 so what about the guitar? Can you tell me a little bit about the, the guitar? The guitar, of course, without the quadro and uh, the guitar are brothers and sisters. They have to work together mm -hmm. as one. So and if you work with, let's say, just like this, why don't sound I, nice? Not, not for typical music. You, oh, need okay. the, you, you actually, you need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear that? No, you need both of them. Yes, yes. And Victor, Victor, Villa. Victor plays Hector. it. Hector, I'm sorry. Hector, pardon. <laughs> Hector plays it very well. Con cuánto vas a tocar con el cuatro? Cuánto? Treinta años. Treinta años. Thirty years. Wow. So years quiere decir que lo estás haciendo desde pequeño. Thirty years playing. Desde the, los doce está haciendo lo que hace. Desde los doce. Wow. Oh y tú naciste también en Puerto Rico, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. ¿Qué te motivó a, a, a tocar el, el cuadro? Oh, por lo lindo que se oye. Pero como tú, como lo, lo viste de tus padres, cómo ah, lo aprendiste. El papá mío me enseñó. Papi lo tocaba. Papá? Sí, oh. pero fue un poquito de guitarra, entonces, sí. pues yo seguí este, oyendo y... Y así fuiste aprendiendo, así aprendiendo hasta que seguí, llegaste al cuadro. Wow. Un poquito, yeah. Pues lo tocas bien. Most of, our, most of our, I would say most of the great musicians from Puerto Rico, they play by ear. They play, they, they don't, they don't, I mean, they can if they want to. It's not that they don't have the intellectual resource to do, to read music or not. But their main uh, yeah, really way of like playing it, it, now they got music yeah, for that. Right. Is, is to hear, is to hear a melody and then all, all, all of a sudden they can play it on the guitar. It's amazing. You know, yeah. My dad used to do that all the time. My dad never read a... A note in music. Fair to me, he was, he, he, he was, was good. He was incredible good. here. Yeah. Incredible, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's what they call him, incredible. Yeah, yeah. that's the back, yeah. back, back in the days. Yes. Oh my uh, God, they don't need none of this to All right, let's do, let's learn. do another, let's do some more, let's a little bit more music. Okay, yeah. 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 Real quick, what right. is your instrument? Oh, that's what right. Este, el bongo. El bongo. bongo. What's happening today, we were supposed to bring a guido. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got the bongos instead, so it's okay. El guido se fue para la montaña. And how long have you been doing the bongo? Well, maybe 40 years. 40 40? Years. 40? 40? 40? Oh my God, these people are 30, 20, 40. Oh my goodness. We're getting old, though. This man, this man, I've known him for about 40 years. Wow. He has that's not changed. Something like that. Has not changed? Oh, wow, that's good. Yeah. And have oh, you noticed there. to their hats? Their hats Describe too. them mm -hmm. too, how, you know, we got those hats, um, the Hibora hats too, that um, tell us uh, about our culture too. Yeah, yeah they're, so they're called pavas. Pavas, pavas are made out of... Uh, what is it? Palm tree, um, palm straws, yeah, and everything palace, else. Yeah. This says uh, they they call Panama hats, okay. but 
Uh, now it's being widely used in different countries in, in South America to, uh, to relate to other culture of the music okay. we That's play. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah, they look nice, I like yeah. it. Okay, what's our next song? Yep. Uh, the next song is, is a short one, and this song is, uh, is to uh, wake up people in the morning. It's, it's, there you it's go. a lovely <laughs> song, and it's. <laughs> Desearle un año feliz. Y en tierra venimos aquí para desearle un año feliz. Ahora venimos aquí para desearle un año feliz. Beautiful song, beautiful. Oh my God, that sounds so beautiful. I mean everything. But this is like you say, if it, without this, it's just like. That's correct. Wow. Yes. And now, this plus you also have El Guido. The, yeah. the, oh, Guido. That's, that's, that's oh my God. Maracas. Y e, e, e la maraca también, también es parte yeah. de, 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 de. Pero hoy en día se puede utilizar hasta los platos, los hoteles. <laughs> <los laughs> lo que sea. Yeah, lo que sea, yeah, lo que sea. Yeah, because when I was little, I went to Japan. Imitating my mom yes. or my dad. Wow. So whatever you have available to make uh, anything sounds, to make now yes, noise. Yes, 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 yes. Right, yes. Right. Okay, what's the next song? Uh, can we finish Feliz Navidad? Is that no, we're, we're, no, we're going to talk a little bit more. Well, okay. in, in, uh -huh. Unless you want to do a, a, another song before Feliz Navidad, because we got a little time. Um, uh, so if you want to do another song before, then we can do it. Um, but let me ask <clears throat> a little bit about, and we talked a little bit before about the the <clears throat> the transmission of culture into into the United States, and I know that in Puerto Rico they just passed uh, a pl uh, what, what do they call it? Uh, referendum. Yes. Yeah, pl yeah. Referendum on <clears throat> on statehood, <clears throat> and uh, how how do you guys feel in terms of how does that impact uh, the culture? Well, me personally, I believe in auto determination del país. But uh, in terms of uh, the culture, mm -hmm. I don't think it will change anything because right. it's been going on for so many years, mm -hmm. over two, three hundred, five hundred years, that the, the impact that will still continue. Right, I and there, there is a, a very intrinsic, yeah. intrinsic relationship between the United yeah. States and Puerto Rico uh, that I don't think is, is going Politically, to Politically, it will change, but in terms of culture and, and, and the language, it will, it it will not change. Fact. The yeah. language, Correct. maybe, yes. maybe with the years, it's going it to be may, changing. Yeah. Right now, I don't know. <clears throat> But it's mm -hmm. going to take a little time. It's going to take a little time. Yeah, yeah. But, but at least if, if Puerto Rico does become a state, it gives us two U.S. senators yeah. and about three or four yes. Congress representatives. Yes. Yes. You know, so that's yes. some major representation yes. in Congress yes. which we don't have now. So, was, so you know, that's, that's a plus, I think. For, I, well, for, I think for, so, too. Yeah. Yes. How do you feel about um, President Obama being um, <clears throat> elected for the second time? Loki. <laughs> Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, I just man. needed to bring it up. Yeah, no, Because <laughs> a lot of Hispanics um, did vote for him. That's oh, why yeah, he did. I think Hispanics made it. I think yeah. he won because that. One. Yes, I think That's they. why I bring it up because uh, it was a, a, a big up, um, percentage of the Hispanic right. vote. I think we made a great choice on uh, yeah. yes, right. Obama. Obama. Yeah, Obama. Yeah, Obama. Yes. Yes. I think it was a major impact by Hispanics. Yes. And I think yeah, Hispanics right. not necessarily just voted for they either voted for, for Obama or voted against Romney. But I think most of Hispanics voted because they wanted to, t to tell this country that we're here to stay. We're an yes. integral part of the electorate of this country. Correct. You know, this is a Democrat country, you know, so. Yeah, so. All right. Okay. Um, he, was, okay. he was in there. He was there. What we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? 
Okay. Uh, trying to figure out what, what song to sing. Estamos pensando qué viene ahora. <laughs> okay. Uh, a la salandera, sí. otra I'm trying to think of now. You, my <laughs> mind is blank. <laughs> uh, what is it, Moyen? Okay, vamos a darle. El framboyán. They got it now. This is this is uh, this is basically an instrumental piece uh, oh, yeah. to uh, okay. to play because uh, uh, singing or not, you gotta play some instrumental, and this is one of them right you here. Lose your voice. It's called el, el framboyán. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're talking all night. Right. right? Yeah. All Llama a José, José está ahí. Vamos, oh, me llaman a mí. José, el hombre está en contacto con María aquí. Get in contact with María. María está en contacto con María. María está en contacto con María. No, for real, if you would like a Mahanda yeah. or something, you could contact me at 716-235-4641. Or if you're interested My name in, is Maria. Or if you're interested okay. in more music or different kinds of music or where to get a hold of some of this music, uh, let us know. We've yeah. we got some, some places we'll here be there. we can go to you. Gilbert and myself, we'll get you set. <clears throat> okay, we're going to uh, finish up with a with what I call is the quintessential Christmas song. Not, not, not only for <laughs> Americans, you know. I, I think this is quintessential Christmas song for yes. the world, I think. Correct. Know, right? yes. Yes. I mean, everybody around the world plays it. Everybody and it was initially it. played by uh, Jose Feliciano. Oh, very uh, which, famous which, one, which, yeah. which made it very famous. So um, don't really need to tell you what this song is. I'm on it.
Feliz Navidad, feliz Navidad, próspero año y felicidad. to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas, a safe Christmas, a blessed Christmas, and we'll be back next The second time. part. Yeah, the second part. With Maria the food. And, with the food. Maria is I'll bring the food penil. and let you know what it's uh, uh, all about. Uh, ajo dulce, patele, ajo con dulce, patele. ajo con candule, so we're uh, 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 penil, uh, everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and we're going to bring these guys. You're more than welcome guys. to come back we're again. We're going to bring these guys again to, to do some more. Thank you very music. much. Okay. Thank you, hey. It was so, a pleasure being here with you. Thank you so thank much you for coming to our show. Back. Thank you, Gilbert, to have me back here again. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Have a Bye. very, very merry Christmas, safe one, and um, don't buy too much um, black, um, black. what is it, Black Friday? Black Friday. Oh, yeah, don't shop man. too much, yeah, okay? Don't, don't get broke much, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know.